Itu lah sebenarnya, Mac. Kita sebenarnya nak hmm. tease sikit tetamu kita dekat uh, rumah sana. Macam you guys, I just nak bagi teaser. Kita ada special you guest. You buat teaser? Just for this? <laughs> kita awesome, ada special yeah. guest, guys, dekat Nadi Weekend. So, tanpa berbual masa lagi, jom tengok montage ni. Roll, Roll it. it. And we are underway. A nice first corner. Oh. And in to go Anton. He's going to win his first race. We're running championships all throughout Asia Pacific. We need a premier championship with proper production, proper entry fees and prize money. And that's what E1 Champions is. E1 Championship really levels the playing field. We've made a great start on e-racing. It allows people in the real life teams and sim racing teams to compete on even footing and they can be competitive against each other. The level of racing was really, really high. It's a terrific sporting competition. We want to make the racing even harder and more realistic. In race room, the drivers and teams have learned how to have contact without breaking the car. With i-racing, you have to be much more delicate. We had so many incidents on the track that we had a couple of races banned from competing for the last two rounds. E1's going to get bigger and better all the time. As we become a global championship, we're going to get more European teams and drivers taking part as well. So without further ado, Ali, let's welcome E1 uh, Race Director Alex Hume and uh, professional team uh, racer Nakib Azlan. Welcome, gentlemen, to uh, welcome, the set. Welcome, guys. And how, right. how are you guys Good. doing? Good, Thank thanks for having us. Yeah. Yep. Are you excited? Like new season is about to start, and what, yeah. just what, what, how do you feel about it generally? Okay, I'm gonna jump in. Yeah, yeah. I'm super excited. Um, obviously, <laughs> not not keeps the pro. He's the guy that you know crosses the finish line. But um, it's been great to be part of this. You know, um, sim racing has really been booming, um, and uh, you know we're now in our fourth season of E1 Championship. We've had three already. Okay. Uh, Nakib won the, the very first season. So. And it's just been getting better, you know, and I'm really super excited by this season because we've got new car, um, new regs, and of course new teams, you know, some really top, top European teams are joining the championship, which is just going to raise the level, you know, and, and, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Nice, but before we go further on that, like just, just to share a little bit with audience out there, for those who probably never heard of this, like what is E1 and what is it all about? Why is it so exciting? Okay, so E1 is probably the, the yeah but well, it's the premier championship for the that's been run in the Asia Pacific region um, it's a sim championship so drivers drive in a simulated environment um, and it's online uh, obviously with COVID-19 and, and the issues we've had the last couple of years means that everyone's had to race from home you know we couldn't actually do events uh, a lot of our real life drivers couldn't get down to the racetrack so sim racing has got better um, and you'll be surprised how good the racing is in online. You know, these guys driving these cars are also making the transition to real life. A lot of these guys are winning races, you know, in real life, you know, so it's really cool that we're seeing that transition. Um, and, 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 and the good thing is here, especially here in Asia Pacific, because we don't have many tracks, we don't have the facilities, um, the only way to really get the skills to learn how to drive a car is online. So that's what we're seeing. And, and, and in many ways, in, Pretty much always, so this this race, the standard racing online, is actually far better than the standard racing we get in the real world. <laughs> Although it doesn't look like you know, this montage because they're getting all the accidents. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, so we, we've got to get Nakib's thoughts on this and what is it yeah. like racing in E1 and macam mana Nakib boleh jatuh cinta lah dengan E1 ni. I think, like you know, Alex said, um, E1 is the premier championship uh, for me as a driver. I've always been wanting for an opportunity to prove myself. Um, the previous seasons, it's been an opportunity for myself to prove against the best in the Asia Pacific region. So from you know Australia, Singapore and whatnot. But now this season is against world level teams, you know. Williams Esports, the actual official esports teams for Williams F1. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's gonna motivate me even more to put in the practice. And the reason why I love it is because I'm doing what I love yeah. and, you know, it's a chance to really show what I can do to the whole world. Awesome. On, on that note, Nakib, yeah. like, how do you, like, how have you been prepping yourself for the new season, knowing that the benchmark is higher, knowing yeah. that the playground is a little bit different mm -hmm. right now, it's no longer how it's going to be like in the first season? I think season the important play. thing is to not overdo yourself. I think you have to always be mindful of what you go into it. Um, but you know, the intensity has to be at a high level, it has, can't be any playing around. You really must be focused on focusing on what your goal should be and making sure that you're efficient with your time management because 
if you're not using your time well, then you're wasting valuable time and valuable efforts in your energy, you know? So, yeah. Yep. Alex, uh, with motorsports, there's always change in regulations. I'm sure it's the same for E1. Besides it, uh, it being global this season, uh, what sort of uh, changes is introduced? Um, well, for the race, we're on the race room game, which is a great simulator game, um, and uh, we're on a brand new car, the mm -hmm. FRX 22, which is uh, based on you know the, the top Formula cars in the world, basically you know that you see in in, in championships with Verstappen and Lando and Lando Norris racing. You know, um, you know a thousand horsepower, um, yeah, full ground. You know the the downforce from the underfloor and stuff like this. So it's keeping it current with real life. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and and. Um, that throws up a lot of challenges because the car was only released on the 1st of September. So everyone, and, and our first race is the 7th of September, so everyone has the same amount of time to prepare, which is really good. It makes it a nice, even playing field for everyone. Um, and yes, you know, the European teams will come in as favourites because they're the ones winning all the big races in race room. But um, this is the right time to do this because, you know, when we first started E1 Championship, it would have been the wrong time to try and open it up to the European teams because I, I don't, maybe the standard of the drivers mm wasn't as strong. But I've seen over the last two years the competitions uh, that drivers like Nakib and other drivers like Ibrahim and Alif and stuff have been racing and the standard is, you know, it, it's it's actually really high. It's world class now here in Asia. So it's now is the right time to be to be opening it up to Europe and, and, and seeing yeah. what, the, bring the European teams to come and compete. Because um, I think you'll see that we'll have some very competitive racing. Yeah. I mean, uh, speaking about world class, I understand that you have a surprise for us mm. and for E1 fans yeah. in Malaysia. Well, obviously the big name coming in and competing this year is um, Williams Esports, you know. And of course, we've got Jack Kifley on the line, also known as the Racing <laughs> God. <laughs> so we present to you uh, Jack Kifley, Racing God. Hi, Jack. How are you? Hello, I didn't expect that info, but hello. <laughs> sure Everyone you as did. Well. <laughs> I did not give you guys any idea at all to say that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hello. Jack, hello. Yeah, on behalf of Williams, how excited are you to be a part of E1 this season? The season that oh, it being global? Oh, I'm very excited. I've, ca I've caught some parts of the highlights from prior seasons and since some of the guys raced in front of that. And some of those same guys are racing in this championship coming up. So that combined with the fact it's on race room, which is my favourite sim, along with the brand new FR22. Not only just make a level playing field, but yeah, ramps and competition up. It's going to be hellaciously exciting, and I cannot wait to get it started. Now, as the um, racing god of uh, E1, as you've been uh, presented before, they are going to expect you to win every race, right? Uh, fingers crossed. Well, uh, of course, who wouldn't? Mm. But I just want to do the best I can, and we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, some races are going to be more challenging than others, especially that uh, because just a setup, other races you can't. So there's going to be different dynamics with how to approach each race and how to do the race itself, and along with the qualifying as well. Along with the race format as well, which you guys have created for this series, which is very, very interesting. and. It's going to make for the viewers very, very exciting race. Yeah. What would be the biggest challenge, in your opinion? Oh, biggest challenge. Um, probably the competition. Uh, for example, my teammate, Martin Stefanko, racing in this. I know he, he's, he's participated in F1 Esports. I mean, he is one of the top guys when it comes to racing Formula cars and sim racing in general. And everyone has a host of other guys as well, like Christopher Hogfell. And especially Mohammed uh, Ibrahim, uh, who I've seen is very, very fast. And of course, they keep on the sofa. So that mixed with the car itself, there's more than just the change of the drivers, it's the car itself and the track as well. Yeah, uh, we have Nakib as well and Alex yeah. in so, the studio. Well, how's the car to drive? Has it been very tricky? And, and have you gone on top of the setups yet? Uh, not on top of the setup at all. <laughs> it's very tricky. I've driven the FR17, which was the prior Formula Racing car, quite a bit. And then jumping into this, it, it the handling is completely different. The way the power is delivered is completely different. And the setup as well, you've got a lot more to adjust. And it's just very, very complicated. And an F1 car, no matter what sim you're on, it is just complicated to set up. And to find a sweet spot, it's going to take a lot of hard work. But that's what takes uh, being at the front. There's uh, lots and lots of hard work and um, also work with your teammate. So we'll awesome. see where we go in this. 
Look, Nakib, any anything you want to say to Jack before no, the start I of the season? You know, as a you want fellow, to throw the gauntlet? Yeah, yeah, as a fellow competitor, I think, you know, I wish you good luck. Um, I haven't raced you personally myself, so mm. I look forward to it. Um, hopefully, we can keep it clean and give a good show for the audience. Yeah. And, and he wants you to send your setup on Discord, please. And, yeah, send that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the end of the season, yeah, I'll release them all. Um, <laughs> all right. no, very good. Good luck to you two as well, and to everyone else racing. And yeah, I'll keep it as clear as possible, race everyone as hard as possible as well, and see where we end up. I mean, I'm really, really looking forward to it with every day we get closer to the first round. All right. Thank you very much, Jack, for joining us. Good luck, Take Jack, care for the new all season. All the best for the, uh, the start of the new season. Thank you very much. And also, Alex, thank you so much for putting on an amazing championship. Yeah. No worries. Thanks. There you have it from the yeah. racing god, Alex. Did you yeah. Yeah. one question that Alex mm. asked Jack, and it made me curious uh, on the car setup and everything. Mm. Probably you can share with us like what kind of things that you guys are prepping on when it comes to pre-season. Okay, like, so do you guys have? You guys choose different different car. You guys try different so, different car. So everyone races the same car, which yeah. is that new um, FRX uh, 22, mm -hmm. based on the 22 uh, former car. Mm. Um, but it is very complicated. There's many setup parameters. Uh, so you need to understand how the setup works in the real world as well, because it does follow quite closely to the real world. Obviously, there'd be some certain quirks, you yeah. know, right, that, that, that might be uh, uh, especially applicable to the game. So the drivers and the engineers and the team have to figure that out. Um, luckily, the, everyone's got the same time, so we should be more of an even playing field. But there's a lot of hours that they'll be doing. They'll be doing hours and hours and hours between now and Wednesday. Um, as everyone tries to get on top of the setup. And like you said, some rounds it's fixed setup. So that means everyone drives exactly the same, same as that template. exact same setup. But some rounds it's open setup. So you can change the setup as much as you want. So they'll be playing with ride height, stiff settings. Um, the engine mapping settings will be very tricky because you've got the MGUK, the MGUH as well, and how it delivers power and, and fuel economy. Oof, the, does it go down? So, like, I'm just so curious because yeah. this is very new to it's me. It's like, obvious that she's But does it go uh, down to your season. personal preference of how you want specification of your car? Like, you know, you want your car to be a little bit probably speedier than other cars or you want to have that acceleration level a bit? Mm, yeah. I don't know the language probably. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think at this... Yeah, just like, <laughs> explain simple yeah. language. At this level, you have to drive whatever's the fastest, okay. right? Yeah, correct. And, and I, so, sometimes the fast cars are difficult cars. Yeah, mm. correct. I mean, it's like Alex said, um, sometimes you would want it to be a, bit, a little bit easier per se to drive but that might not necessarily be the fastest way. Understood. So as a driver, you want to be able to drive and adapt to these difficult cars and make sure you have the best performance that you can. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, Nakib will be representing Sam Nai, um, our Malaysian team. Mm. So Nakib, where can the fans see you race? So the fans can watch at Facebook Live, correct? Mm. Yes. If I'm wrong. EGG. EGG. EGG Network on Astro as well, mm. Channel 800. Um, on Wednesdays? Yes. Nine. At 9 p.m. <laughs> I'm good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you get that? Was it too fast? Uh, yeah. You Just to wrap it up, any last words for yep. the E1 committee out there or for the people who are curious to find to discover more about you guys? Please watch. I hope you guys come and support our local team as well. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm unbiased and I have to... <laughs> I have my race management hat on, but I, you know, there's... The, the level of the racing is super high. You won't see anything higher uh, regionally, you know. So it come in and appreciate the race craft, the overtaking, how everyone executes uh, the right strategy at the right time. It's, um, you know, from uh, as far as sporting mm. terms goes, on, as far as racing sporting terms goes, it's it's as good as it gets. Yep. So uh, if Nakit was too fast for you guys out there at home, kalau dia terlalu pantas tadi, so inilah uh, yang akan uh, dipaparkan ataupun akan dibawakan kepada anda peminat Iwan. Uh, Iwan sudah pun memasuki musim yang keempat, the fourth season, uh, akan uh, menjadi lebih global dan akan bermula 7 September sehingga 2 November, uh, musim keempat, setiap Rabu, jam siang malam, boleh tengok di Facebook Live dan juga saluran EGG 800. Uh, boleh dapat juga extra content dekat YouTube dan juga Suka. Mm, jangan lupa Suka. Yes. Saluran Astro Arena ada, saluran Suka pun ada. So guys, let's support our local yep. team. Yes, and Alex, thank you, thank you very much thank for spending so time with us, educating us as well. Yep. Okay, okay, man. Okay. All the best. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll thank you. Up. Will you yes. be uh, in the race seat? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> the race director seat, <laughs> giving up penalties. Okay. <laughs>